All right, guys. Today we're gonna have a weed picking competition. <laughs> Woo! All right. All right. So I accidentally put the wrong kind of chaff on, and it started growing weeds in amongst our plants. Now the competition is: each one of you has your own bag. You're not gonna pick any real plants. You're gonna pick only weeds. We know. And whoever has the most weeds at the end of five minutes wins something. Uh, candy? We'll see. All right, I'll count to three. On your mark, get set, go. Okay, guys, what's Lydia got? All got of your weeds? weeds? What's it way? What's it way? Whoa, what, you can't push down on it. All right, one point four. Okay, clear, Bob. Oops. Nice. Clear, Bob. Can't push down on it. What, one point three. That's very close. All right, Hannah Bob, what do you got for weeds? I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay. Oh, can't push right. on it. Two point one, we have a winner. Good show, guys. Where's the prize? Oh dear, I just sat on the prize. Look at these. These are peas from our garden. Good job, guys. Look at all the weeds you guys picked. Whoa! Okay. Now, there's a great Bible lesson about weeds. I got some questions. Uh, why do we need to pick weeds in the garden? Well, they, because they suck up the energy and the life out of our plants. That's right. And we steal the vitamin D that they need. And also, they um want to grow instead of the plants and ruin them. They like Satan um grabbing onto our hearts and making us be mean. That's that's true too. Now, why do you think Jesus talked about gardens and grapevines and fig trees? Because and back in the Garden. Have a garden and a farm, and they understand weeds. Yeah. Oh, so Jesus talked about stuff that everybody understood because everybody had a garden. Hey, what do you think Jesus would talk about now if, if Jesus was walking around in 2020? Phones. Yep, everybody's got a phone. Probably be talking about your phone. And masks. Okay. Uh, in Mark 4:18 in the Bible, I want to read this to you. Jesus talked about a whole bunch of things, about the, the farmer put his seeds out and some of them grew in the rocks and some of them had weeds or thistles and thorns growing up we, around them. We did that in school. Yeah, and, and afterwards the disciples said, uh, Jesus, what were you talking about? And here's what Jesus said. In, Matthew, in Mark 4.18, Still others, like seeds sown among thorns, hear the word, but the worries of this life the deceitfulness of wealth and the desires for other things come in and choke out the word, making it unfruitful. Wow, Jesus was a good teacher. He knew that we already know we don't like weeds and he took this and said, hey, there's things in your life that are like weeds that choke out the fruitfulness. Because God does want you all to bear fruit in your own special ways. Some of you are going to bear pumpkins and some of you peas, but all of you, God has a plan for all of you to bear fruit and he doesn't want you to get all twisted up with a bunch of weeds. What are you thinking, Clara? Weeds. I choke the plant. Yeah, they choke the plant. Okay, so what do you think distracts us 
from God. What is the weeds in our life that we need to pluck Satan. out? Satan. Oh, what kind of things should we? Idols. Idols. Um, so what's I'm... an idol that we have to face? TV. TV. Yeah. You could just sit there and watch TV. It's like a weed, right? Computers. And... Yeah. yeah. The weed you could, goes bigger. You could fiddle around on the computer, not being productive, and it could be sucking away the life that God Video made you. Video games too. Yeah. And, and then the weeds weed get bigger. And the weeds get bigger and the fruit gets smaller. So we need to always, that's what Jesus was talking about, we need to always be thinking in our lives, what are the weeds that are growing up next to me, around me, that's keeping me from being fruitful? And then what do we do when we know we have a weed? We do this. We pick, pick it, it and then we destroy it. Yeah. I have something okay. to say. What's that? So, um, the weed is Satan and, and then the weed comes in us and tries to take the love out of our hearts. Yeah. So, we need to identify the weeds in our life and pick them by the root, every bit of it out and throw it away, right? Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching guys.